In this model, we will talk about Dubai real estate market trends 2023. Uh, we will have Dubai general overview, uh, post-COVID recovery, and I will explain how that affected the uh, market rapid growth uh, in, in 2022 and this year, 23. Uh, primary secondary market growth ratio and now we have a primary market overperforming secondary that means uh, the developers are selling off plan way more than the uh, deals are happening in the secondary market what drives the market growth the uh, future uh, of off plan supply that means what we will be having in a secondary market in the next uh, three to five years Rents and return on investments, and what to focus on for you as a, a real estate agent uh, to yourself be able to track and understand what is the market data represent. Two thousand nineteen supposedly being predicted uh, to be a year of. Um, a market twist, uh, and uh, we were all expecting the market to start to grow again, then the new peaks, but you know what happened. And um, we do not know, um, would that be the case, uh, and would 19, uh, 2019 become a year of uh, a rapid change in the market, or we would still be having the same picture as we do now? So the uh, corona and overall uh, in the world created a unique situation. When we've been in a lockdown for almost a year and some countries have been in lockdown for two years. So you can imagine that after you've been so suffocated and then <laughs> you've been released, your uh, buying uh, abilities, yeah, because we've been saving money for so long, um, and you are... Um, buying behavior changes uh, now we all wanted the bigger spaces uh, the villas and townhouses instead of apartments and that was the main characteristic of real estate market in 2020 and 21 uh, talking about myself i moved uh, from a 420 square feet studio into 1250 square foot one bedroom apartment and um, I understood that I will never consider coming back to a studio again. Well, spending the lockdown there was not easy. I call it a shoebox. So in 2020, as it was predicted, we have, um, we have seen a total reset of the market. Uh, and now it's been a little bit uh, enhanced with um, U.S. Federal Reserve printed um, $2 trillion to release and support the, the U.S. economy. Mm. Now I want to step uh, out of the real estate market for a bit and explain you what is the Federal Reserve. I highly encourage you to uh, check the, uh, this topic and dig deeper into the behavior of the Federal Reserve and how it affects the overall uh, world economy. But just to be um, really briefly, the Federal Reserve is the um, U.S. government organ, which is um, kind of responsible of the monetary policy over the world because we have uh, our reserve world currency as U.S. dollars. So all the countries uh, in the world are trading in between with the U.S. dollars. That's why um, whatever is happening... Um, and the U.S. monetary policy uh, directly affecting the uh, overall economy. So why was that that important uh, or affecting the um, Dubai real estate or uh, the world economy, this $2 trillion that's been printed? That means that we simply had way more money to spend, and the interest rates at that time in uh, U.S. were very low. So the money was cheap to borrow, um, people being buying houses, they're investing in the stock market, cryptocurrency, firing up inflation. Uh, what is happening now, just to give you a brief overview, is a completely opposite thing. And now the Federal Reserve um, is trying to conquer the uh, speeding up uh, inflation. And the way they're doing that, they're increasing interest rates. So increasing the price, um, let's say, of borrowed money. 
this as well affects uh, the interest rates, uh, mortgage rates, uh, personal loan rates all over the world. So if you've been on the market uh, 2018 or 19 in Dubai, um, the average mortgage rate uh, could be around uh, somewhere 3%. So now if you will be interested uh, to get a mortgage, you will be paying uh, depending on the bank, depending on the conditions, depending on how much money you want to borrow, an average from 5 to 7%. So the money are more expensive now. So the more money in the economy, the uh, more uh, purchasing power the uh, citizens and buyers all over the world have. However, that speeds up the inflation as well. Uh, in 2021, uh, UAE was one of the best countries to deal with the uh, consequences of the uh, global pandemic. Um, I would say it's been reflected in everything, in the measures that they took, uh, um, in the vaccination, the, the process was arranged very well. They were uh, almost the first country to open up for the global tourism and to um, allow people uh, all over the world, even without vaccination, to travel in Dubai. So this recovery uh, affected um, the attitude towards the country, not only uh, uh, affected us as residents and affected people been traveling at that time to Dubai, maybe never been considering going to Dubai, but because there were not that many options, they, are, uh, they fall in love and, and they felt that this is the place they want to um, start their new life maybe or to invest. Uh, that's why we are considering that 2021 was an extreme uh, push um, and we are still on the new upcoming road to the peak of real estate market. So um, 2022 is the strongest steady growth. Uh, we have that uh, reflecting into the secondary and off-plan deals and off-plan deals are picking up. Uh, unlikely that was in uh, the um, end of the era of the uh, 2018 and 19, where people, um, let's say, been very um, relentless, very suspicious to purchase of plans. And at that time, developers been coming up with all certain leverages as um, um, waiving a DLV fees, providing a payment plans uh, with five years post handover. Some of them even being given 10 years post handover payment plan, waiving the service fees for the first two, three, four, five years, just in, uh, in order to encourage the new buyers to purchase. So now you can see that conditions are, um, let's say, still very attractive, but no one is offering anything from the list that I just mentioned. So uh, this is uh, a great graph for you to have and a great graph for you to share with uh, your buyers and sellers. And this represents the um, transparency of UA market. Uh, you can see uh, all of the deals properly start to be recorded from 2008, even though that we discussed already that 2006 is the year when um, for us, non-UAE nationals, it was allowed to purchase the real estate in Dubai in a full possession. I think it you know, took some time for the market to pick up and um, to spread the news. Uh, it was not that many social media interaction at that time. Um, so we have uh, an interesting uh, peak, which is... Um, I'm sure you know why it became a big fall in 2009. We have a big crisis. Uh, and you know the stories, uh, probably you heard them, but the developers have been running uh, with the bags full of cash. They've been dropping their luxury cars in uh, Dubai airport. And many people at that time have been investing uh, into their real estate. They... Um, lost their money because the project never been completed. Up till now, we have a uh, lot of, um, I call it skeletons uh, all over Dubai. Then you can see that this project probably been here for maybe 10, 15 years um, and there is no construction happening. 
um, when anyone is asking me this question, oh, Olga, why um, this happening to this project? Why the violin department is not uh, taking over and finishing the construction? And I would say, hmm, as much as uh, I'm sure Sheikh Mohammed doesn't like to see that himself, there is a legislation process. Um, there is uh, an opportunity for any new developer to obtain the ability to complete the project. But for that, uh, the um, new developer will have to fulfill the obligations in front of the uh, owners purchased with the previous developer. And sometimes, unfortunately, because um, building, for example, at that time being sold at 70%, uh, and the money is gone and the construction process has uh, been stopped in the uh, level of 15% of completion, 10% of completion, uh, the 30% that developer is still able to uh, retrieve from the new buyers will be not enough for developer to be profitable. So I'm sure there is lots of things. Um, uh, I, and I've seen myself lots of projects like Dubai Parallel, a commercial project, which is... Um, right in the entrance to the Panjumera. Finally, it, it's been um, on hold for um, as long as I'm here, for nine years, and I believe that was one of the projects which uh, started in 2008. So now finally they start demolishing it, and I believe that is uh, the reason. Uh, the reason is that they found the um, new developer, new investor who will take over them and uh, fulfill the obligation in front of the previous investors because I met uh, clients of mine who actually did invest in the Dubai Pearl project. So um, finally, this uh, fantastic location will be taken over and they will have the, the money worth definitely because of the current market prices. And the current market condition uh, way more favorable than in 2008. So then we can see uh, 2010, 2011, prices are going up and down. There is lots of uh, flipping still happening. And uh, when we're talking about flipping is when uh, I am as an investor purchasing the unit from the developer in the first launch. Just because the price is being uh, growing rapidly, I can wait um, literally for maybe two, three, four, five, six months. My payment plan is uh, not even forcing me yet to pay a second installment, a third installment. So let's, for the easiest of the explanation, uh, say that I invested 50,000 uh, dirhams in the unit. And um, in six months or, um, or so, I find a new buyer who is interested to purchase the unit. But the price from developer already increased, uh, and um, I am selling the unit for the higher price. Let's imagine that the, the unit was 500,000 dirhams. Now the price is 600,000 dirhams. So I am actually invested only 50,000. However, with the resale, I'm uh, benefiting with additional 100,000, which I made uh, just uh, over the period of six months. So it's 200%, uh, percent, <laughs> almost 200% um, ROI, which is absolutely amazing. But this flipping property created at that time unrealistic demand. Um, that was as well um, supported by the less uh, percentage of the transfer fee, which at that time for the off plan property was only 2%. So uh, the Bailand Department been uh, really working on the legislation to support the maturity of the market and to uh, improve the, let's say, health of the market and get rid of these flippers. Because uh, currently, uh, if you want uh, to resell your property uh, as a first investor, um, you will have to pay at least 40% uh, of the uh, property value and moreover you have to obtain the permission from the developer and let's say if developer um, at the moment is still not uh, uh, completely sold out his own stock he might not give you this permission just because uh, he's interested in to um, controlling the price of the property on the market. Uh, 
going further, uh, you can see that from 2013 to 2015, we have uh, a very rapid growth, which we can actually compare to what is happening now from mm, 2021 to uh, May 2023. I have data here from Property Monitor. Uh, by the way, you will be having access to the stool, and I highly highly recommend you to engage and uh, um, discover the market through the statistics that they provide. They're literally uh, uh, one of the best um, companies in uh, uh, UAE uh, with the quality of statistics directly uh, pulled from the Dubai Land Department, from all the property portals. So you can see not only what is uh, currently sold and the prices for the transaction is happening, you can see as well uh, what is the listing price of this property? What is the MOU uh, sign price for this property? Transaction price? What is the valuation price of the property when the uh, um, the mortgage before the mortgage process the evaluator is coming and assessing what would be the price uh, uh, relevant to the uh, um, the bank standard? So um, moreover. Definitely, we have already recorded training with the property monitor. If no, you can approach your manager and ask uh, him about this tool, and uh, um, he definitely will grant access uh, for you. So, the coming back to 2013, <laughs> uh, the high um, demand on the properties uh, being uh, not uh, just accidental. Many things being, uh, let's say, prepared by the um, Sheikh Mohammed himself and the government in, of UAE uh, as well. In 2013, in November, uh, it's been uh, officially announced uh, that Dubai uh, won the bin. I'm not sure how to say bin. Anyway, they won the uh, opportunity to host uh, Expo 2020. Uh, and that created uh, a significant interest uh, towards the country. And um, I would say that Expo um, is one of the best uh, events to attract uh, potential clients, potential investors, to attract potential residents to the country. Um, I'm normally saying that there is only three world um, uh, wide uh, events that can be comparable to uh, Expo. It's Olympic Games and uh, um, Football Championship, World Football Championship. However, if we will really look into the uh, parameters of this event, we will, we will see that both of the sport events are um, extremely interesting and it does uh, um, drags the attention to the country. However, those who are coming and attending this event are mainly focused on the sport. And they're mainly attending the um, sport uh, uh, competitions itself. And they're coming maybe for a couple of days or maybe a week mark. The prices are very expensive. It's a um, uh, high traffic jam in the airport. Uh, so, of course that's uh, a valuable add-on to the country development. However, Expo is an event which is extremely uh, business-oriented. However, it attracts a lot of um, attention from uh, just uh, common citizens all over the globe. And Dubai, with the easy uh, access uh, and uh, visa system, definitely created a precedent of developing the Expo into a completely anonymous uh, size event. So now the Expo city, <laughs> so the place uh, where, uh, which has been built in the middle of nowhere to host the Expo, is developing into a completely new community, which is going to be a city away from the city. Uh, all the developers already before the Expo invested in uh, creating um, the community surrounded, uh, Imar, Damak, uh, Mark. You will, uh, you will find a lot of happening around that uh, part of the city now. And 
the beauty of the expo, and I would say current expo definitely benefit the growth of the real estate uh, prices uh, in Dubai, because we attracted uh, millions of people on a duration of six months. So if you never been in Dubai or you already been in Dubai uh, and you are coming back to attend the um, exhibition or you are maybe uh, an exhibitor yourself, you have a different overview, understanding of all of this being built just in a, a handful of years, uh, they be able to create a complete uh, oasis in the middle of a desert. So you start thinking differently and haven't um, haven't you had taken Dubai seriously before? Now you're definitely going to change your overview. So coming back to the prices, I just love to discuss this topic. I, I think there was a, such a brilliant idea of Sheikh Mohammed, which is one more time highlighting how um, visionary he is. And there is one more thing. I don't know if you heard about this. This is his saying. No one remembers number two. I used to love telling this to the customers. So this is his vision. This is how he feels about himself, about the country. However, he is not that parading himself as a person. For him, Dubai is a reflection um, of the power that he has. Okay, um, I have to... <laughs> stop myself there because I feel already the goosebumps and I want you to feel the goosebumps when you are pitching the uh, opportunities for the uh, real estate investors to become a part of Sheikh Mohammed's big plan so uh, price comparison uh, we can see that now we are almost on the same um, prices of the January and February February 15 January 16. So um, the top prices, the previous peak, uh, which is uh, normally called all-time high in any, uh, let's say, stock market um, exchange, uh, we haven't uh, reached there yet. We're going to be talking overall about this graph. The main thing that you have to communicate to your clients is that Dubai real estate market did a full circle. So we've been... Uh, on the downside, then we had a peak, then the prices went down again, and now we are again coming up on the seller's market. Again, two, term, uh, two terms that I want you to uh, uh, keep in mind. So when the prices are going down, as it was 2018, 2019, the buyers, so those who are paying money, um, ruling the parade, uh, and when the prices are going up, the initiative is in the hands of the sellers. So that's why we call it the seller's market when the prices are increasing and the buyer's market when the prices are decreasing. So how do we communicate our predictions to the client? Because the client needs to understand why. Um, and for you as well, this is a good opportunity to, to uh, search and to look for a specific industry news and to be able to uh, explain the news, which are um, not anyhow directly related to the property market, but uh, indirectly affecting the prices. Um, oil prices stay high. This is the current market trend. And we know that uh, through the uh, statistical historical data, uh, the buy real estate market very much dependent on the oil prices. When the prices are going up, the prices of real estate are going up as well. The same things going uh, uh, the opposite direction. Uh, European real estate is now not a very attractive uh, um, opportunity to invest. So what does that mean? Uh, now with the crisis in the um, Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, uh, we have um, a significant change in the prices for, um, um, let's say, commodities for European Union and UK that uh, as well uh, reflecting on how much it costs now to actually own the property uh, and uh, rent the property. So um, I would say, in, I believe in Italy, 
the prices for electricity and heating uh, went up uh, more like more than four times. So now investors who've been previously considered in Europe are looking aside to find the opportunity of uh, better rental returns. Big investors from US are now considering to buy market alongside with Australia and UK. Uh, there have been several studies made on the influx of US buyers. They are currently uh, among the top 20. Uh, and uh, we believe that this number will be increasing. And those investors are bringing big money. Mainly they are uh, focusing on a um, luxury sector. They are interested in standalone villas uh, to have, let's say, a Dubai holiday lifestyle. Um, we are talking about access to the beach or just in general to have a big backyard as it's very common in the US. Uh, number four, Dubai is still a very young market. Uh, there is a big opportunity for growth. So what does it mean? Um, being uh, only 20 years plus um, uh, uh, safe haven for investment, we still have the prices which are not matching to the uh, world um, international capitals of the real estate investment, like London, New York, uh, uh, Tokyo. And uh, that gives us, uh, alongside with the quality of light that we have here, uh, a high opportunity for growth. Um, market is now more attractive with the proven track of growth and security. So the investors uh, who have been previously considering Dubai, but were not very certain if this is a bubble which is going to burst at some point, now look at Dubai market differently. And there is uh, many reasons for that. Not only the recent increase of the price, not only that, uh, as I mentioned already, we had a full circle of the uh, market peak, uh, market uh, decline, market growth. Uh, the way um, Dubai show up uh, on, on Expo 2020 and even previously on recovery and bringing the country back on track after Corona, uh, proven to uh, many uh, across the globe that this is the place not only to invest, but to live as well. Uh, more business are coming in Dubai, so there's more companies are opening the offices here, so that means more skilled professionals. And the skilled professionals for you, Mr. Seller, means tenants which are able to pay the rent that you expect to receive. And moreover, with the um, latest technology that being um, uh, implemented uh, all over uh, the Dubai economy, including the um, decreasing of need and low-skilled professionals, we can um, look at the influx of Dubai population as more skilled uh, middle management people are actually coming in. And as we still have to uh, somehow support our existence, we will in the future more uh, um, rely on technologies. And I'm giving a simple example of that. Uh, in um, Dubai Hills Mall, uh, and I'm sure in many other malls, I, I just uh, have my own example only from that place, uh, the counters in the H&M, um, uh, Zara, they are already uh, without a cashier. So it's the same way as you can uh, pay for your shopping in um, uh, in Carrefour or uh, Spinis without need of the person helping you with that, the same way you can do now in uh, many malls in Dubai. 70-80% of properties are paid by cash, uh, so that less uh, that makes the market less affected by rising interest rates of uh, the Federal Reserve, US Federal Reserve. We briefly spoke already about the Federal Reserve and interest rates and why the uh, interest rates in US affecting uh, the bank interest rates uh, all over the globe, but it is like it is. Uh, so the uh, more expensive U.S. money, meaning the banks want more interest to borrow your money, uh, affected, uh, affecting uh, all countries um, all over the world. Uh, 
So uh, previously in um, 1918, uh, the, the mortgage uh, interest rate was on average around 3%, depending on uh, like a fixed rate, the fluctuating rate. Uh, currently, we are talking about around 6% rate. Right? However, because majority of the Dubai properties are cash paid, we are not going to be that affected by even more increase of the um, mortgage rates. There, there are going to be still, of course, the secondary uh, market deals where the homeowners for the personal use are getting the mortgage, but the percentage of that is not um, big enough for us to feel that. Um, when you accept development and then going uh, country economy development plans, we already discussed that uh, Sheikh Mohammed is ruling Dubai as if it's his big enterprise. And uh, the um, new plans which have been released um, about the economy development uh, for uh, a vision for 2040 uh, not only includes the new upcoming uh, increasement of the uh, Dubai waterfront and beaches for 400 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken, but many initiatives, including the uh, providing golden visas now for everyone who works in a tech uh, currency industry. So that's as well a good influx of very skilled professionals and businesses are moving uh, uh, all over the globe to have the headquarters in Dubai. So, sales transaction. <laughs> this is the um, this is a pull from Knight Trump. Uh, you will have the same uh, opportunity to pull this uh, um, graphs from Property Monitor. You will have additional training on Property Monitor, so do not worry about that. Uh, you will be able to select any uh, time frame from 2008 to uh, showcase it for your customers. What I want to um, point on uh, at the moment. I have currently here till uh, March 2023. The new uh, quarter will be a little bit more higher. Uh, however, the main trend is visible. So we have residential and commercial real estate, and we can see that the transaction gradually increasing on the both segments. And the commercial real estate is a very good indicator for us to understand how healthy is economy overall. Uh, when we've been facing the um, uh, prices decline in 2018-2019, we had a very, very limited demand for uh, commercial spaces, offices, uh, shops, people being closing down the businesses and uh, downgrading to the smaller offices. So now we see that demand on office spaces are uh, increasing. That means, again, reflecting that we have an influx of population, that we have an influx of business. And this is very good trend for our clients to understand that um, by increasing the uh, demand on commercial spaces, uh, we are, let's say, putting a foundation for them to increase their population uh, overall in Dubai. Yes, uh, registration type and market share. Uh, in this graph, I am um, highlighting the completed, so ready property and off plan. So that's a property which received a quote. Uh, this is historical transaction comparison. Uh, uh, I want to remove these guys, but <laughs> we cannot. So that starts from 2020, 2021, yes, that's here. Uh, and goes up to the May 2023. So this is updated data. And we can see that uh, in the beginning, we had uh, more transactions with the completed property. And what is happening now, uh, we have higher uh, percentage of the food plant sales. So um, how you can communicate it to your client? The, the, change in between these two types of transactions just indicate how confident and certain are people with investing in Dubai real estate. So before, um, let's say, again, coming back to the market of 2018-19, uh, 
um, we have a very, very um, limited uh, amount of transaction and few investors and uh, developers being uh, so, um, I don't know, attractive with their offers, uh, you could find uh, something like 10 years post Sandova payment plan, DLD waiver. Uh, they will uh, offer the no service charges for the first two years of owning the property. So that was basically anything and everything uh, they are, they're ready to promise. Only, please, Mr. Investor Purchase. Now we still have a very good payment plans, of course. However, they are not that generous anymore. And <laughs> from one side, that's 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 a good for us. It indicates that the market is healthy. Yeah, Dubai residential supply. This is the graph which indicates uh, the predictable number of uh, uh, units which are going to be released, completed. They are now under construction, but they are announced to be completed in 2022-2025. And the um, uh, main area of the uh, new development is uh, for years. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure a couple of uh, more years ahead will be uh, Mohammed bin Rashid City, Business Bay, uh, downtown Dubai Creek Harbor. There is lots of place to um, over there to still develop. Jumeirah Lake ta uh, Towers, um, it's a bit strange for me that it's been uh, highlighted, but it, inside the Jumeirah Lake Towers per se, there is no many uh, development going on. But on the side, they're building a new uh, Uptown Dubai, the project name is, with a big uh, office tower, which is from a, repli a, a replica, I believe, from one of the business towers in Manhattan. At least when I see it in the movie, I recognize it. And I, I just live in GLT, so it's basically a post And uh, yeah, as the, you can see, 23,000 out of those supply are going to be apartments and 18,000 going to be villas. And the main uh, villa supply is going to be in Dubai land, which is in several areas uh, connected together. Jebel Ali, of course, but we are not talking yet about Palm Jumeirah. We are talking about the downtown Jebel Ali. There are lots of plots uh, and villas over there for sale. Damak Hills, they uh, release a new um, extension of the Damak Hills, Dubai South, Arabian Ranches, World Islands. This is the project which is deep in the sea. <laughs> I cannot wait to to see this um, wheel has been completed there. It's quite interesting. Yes, leasing market. Um, again, this is my front um, calculation. We do not uh, in Dubai normally uh, focus on the price per square feet, but this is like a world, world trend of uh, looking at the price market. So let's just focus on the um, percentage. And I like this graph because it indicates the uh, level of the uh, growth which been already reached and the potential opportunity based on uh, the peak of 2015, we already discussed about the all-time high, which in villas we are only 3.9% less, and in uh, apartments we are still 22.7% less than the previous peak. If we look into the uh, residential apartments and villas breakdown, we can see that uh, on average all residential properties uh, increased on um, uh, 15%, since uh, 2020, and uh, apartments increase on 11%, and villas increase on 39%. The, such a big influx in uh, the rentals of the villas just explains that uh, um, the corona time, which been harsh on all people <laughs> all over the globe, but in Dubai, those who've been living in apartments, they start to realize the value of having his yes, own backyard, the biggest space and um, opportunity to kind of live on the lower floor. Um, that's why I believe this trend of uh, people moving into the townhouses and villas is going to still continue for uh, a couple of more years. What to expect uh, from Dubai market in 2023, taking in consideration that we are recording this video in the middle of the year. Uh, we already have data uh, from the Berlin department that suggests that the price increase 
uh, in uh, July uh, 2023, in comparison to the previous year, almost then 13%. Uh, quarterly increase is 4.63%. Uh, Pile Jebel Ali is the big news that we all anticipating to finally be launched this year. It's actually supposed to be launched in March, but that's been delayed. And of course, it will uh, definitely attract a lot of international investors from all over the world, which will then reflect on the uh, sales transaction, not only in the Pile Jebel Ali. Uh, definitely the uh, beachfront areas as uh, Palm Jumeirah, uh, Marina, even GLT, and furthermore, La Mer will be um, experiencing the influx of uh, potential buyers and investors. Let's talk about the overview and the summer up our presentation. Uh, we can say that uh, what is the most influencing to buy real estate market is the oil prices, global economy, Demand and supply, of course, and uh, the market is still very much sentiment driven. Uh, future trends are supported by a very strong uh, government development program. We discussed that with about uh, 400 uh, uh, kilometers of the new beachfronts, new developments are coming in, and uh, new options for those who want to open the business or uh, just moving uh, to buy, purchasing the property, getting the golden visa, maybe uh, planning a retirement here, or just to have a second home away from uh, winter. <laughs> uh, Dubai is strong position with a very smart diplomatic policy, which is uh, always uh, in between um, any conflict, uh, clearly shore up, uh, that uh, whatever is happening over the world, Dubai is a safe haven for you to come and invest.